Hello, podcast world. It's your boy Terrence Grundy. I'm here. It's 9 2 2020. That's September 2nd, 2020. It is 7 24 p.m. And I appreciate y'all tuning in today. And I'm going to talk about the new show on television. Uh, I think it's Star's original uh, television show called P Valley. Now, uh, definitely tune in. Apparently, the storyline takes place after what it seems to be a hurricane, maybe Katrina, perhaps. And the young lady has lost everything. And before she left New Orleans, she gathered up um, some some fake, well, some real IDs of people who were probably dead, you know. And due to the fact that they can't figure out who's still alive, who's dead, or whatever, she's just there are these to pose as, you know, to, to, to you know, it's just basically still in her identity. And now she's in uh, Mississippi, in the Delta, and I can't even say the name of the city. I'm sorry. You just watch the show. And they say the city's name a few times. Chetalisa? Ch- 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 Chetalisa? I can't, I am not from there, so I don't want to mess it up too bad, and uh, the people from there even get mad, but, um, like I said, the name of the show is P-Valley, and you can already assume that you know what you know, what the P stands for, so, yeah, you know, uh, I'll keep it PG, you know, so, um, she goes to work at this strip club, and she is a beautiful young lady. I'm talking about she is bad. So, she comes in the first night making money. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. The strip club is about that money. It's all about the money being grown and the money being, you know, tucked in the G string and all of that. And the OG is what they call her. Her name is Mercedes. And she's been there since she's 18 going on seven years she's 25 she's getting ready for her mercedes last dance and she's getting ready to open up a dance studio man she's taking her money saving it so that she can open up a dance studio in the meantime uh, let's see i've only made it about halfway in i just finished the fourth episode and you know, awaiting, you know, tonight, you know, knock out a few more episodes or whatever when I get a chance. But so far, so good. Um, there are a couple of, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Issues, you know. Um, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, it's kind of teach them. You know, I don't want to further, no spoilers in this, you know, so y'all know, I'm just giving you kind of like a guideline on the show, because I haven't even really fully watched every episode or anything like that, but from what I've uh, been watching, it is a good show, um, especially if you've ever been to a strip club, or you love strip clubs, and Mercedes getting ready to open up a dance studio for, um, young ladies, and one of those young ladies is her daughter, you know, and their ages are like teenagers, you know, like like 13, 16, you know, to, you know, middle school, high school girls, and on one of the episodes, they're getting ready to have a party, and they do like this little twerk video, and it really upsets me, she was like, they're getting ready for a whole competition. And she was like, hmm, yeah, be tired, you know. Sorry about that. Um, they're getting ready for a whole competition or whatever. And, the, you know, it's kinda, it kind of reminds me of the Nancy Dolls off of, um, that, you know, that show. Think of the name of it at the moment, but uh, that's the name of the dance team, the dancing dolls. Uh, bring it, just just bring it. I think that's what it's called, just bring it. 
and they're getting ready to uh, for a competition, and she sees this video that's uh, you know posted or whatever. She was like, "Are y'all crazy? That can get y'all on Spotify, you know." So then, you know, she goes and punishes them or whatever, make them do a workout or whatever, and later on the show we come to find out the girl that's the captain or whatever is like her daughter you know and apparently she gave a message to her daughter to the father's mother I'm guessing you know I, again I'm only so far in so I don't have all the answers but like I say it's um the 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 owner of the uh, P Valley Club, the Pink is what it's called. Uh, the strip club's called the Pink. And the owner of this club is a man who dresses like a woman. You know? So uh, that's the kind of the issue that I have with the show or whatever. It's not it's not something that I'm into, so I don't wanna, you know, again, not not talking down on it. Although it's it's kind of it's really intense, you know. So yeah, you you were warned before you watch it. It's graphic. <laughs> it is very graphic. Uh, I just finished the fourth episode, and it was so by far the most graphic thing I've seen since I've been watching the show. And uh, there's the ending of the show, and that's when the graphicness happens. So if you uh, hear this and Decide you want to start watching the show, and you're watching the fourth episode of season one, then um, you will know when you want to stop watching the episode or do whatever you want to do with like turning your heads or closing your eyes or however you want to watch it. You know, I, you know, to each his own. So, like I say, then uh, another part of the storyline is the mayor is trying to bring in this casino and get money. And another part of the story is uh, Mercedes' mom is she's an evangelist and she wants to preach. She wants her own church. So, you know, I'm gonna let you. you know, like I said, no spoilers. I'm just telling you. Uh, kind of give you a little little insight into the show. And the pastor of the church she goes to is one of those pastors who believe that women have no place in the pulpit. And, I, you know, to each his own, I don't agree with it, you know, because evangelism was in the Bible, you know, so I don't see why or where they get that from, you know. It's almost like for you to say that a woman has no place in the pulpit it's also like someone saying at one point in time that a colored man has no place in the pulpit, you know? So, I, I don't agree with that form of discrimination, you know? Um, everyone has a message. Everyone has a story to tell at the end of the day. And if, it's, if you're able to use your message to save souls for God, deliver some people from sin for God, then... You know, or whatever you believe in, your case, you know, say if you're able to help someone by telling them your story, then I feel like the story needs to be heard. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're doing it in a church or a soapbox, um, you know, whatever calling it says, whatever direction, you know, the wind takes you, or whatever the spirit takes you, or whatever, you know, and that's just how I feel about it. But at the end of the day, um, like I said, the owner of the club, kind of thing, is Uncle Clifton. Clifford? Uncle Clifford? Um, so, uh, you know, he's trying, he's behind on a, on, a, on a loan that he took out for the mortgage or fix it or whatever it is to took out for it, I don't really say it. But he's behind, and the bank is looking to foreclose on him, and when that happens, the mayor and and partners and stuff are looking to swoop in like vultures and take over and level the pink 
and build that casino up. And, you know, uh, his main concern is paying off like $55,000 and, you know, pretty much going from there. Now, like I say, very graphic show thus far. If you're interested in checking it out, please do. Uh, the first season is almost complete. I think it's about to uh, get ready to air the season finale or whatever. And go right ahead and check that out. I, I will check it out. I mean, I'm checking it out. So, hey, see you. See how you like it, you know, because I think it's a pretty good show. There's a definitely one thing I can say about it is the soundtrack is slamming. I hear songs from all over that, you know, the, all the twerk songs, all the uh, make it happen, you know, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the hustle songs, like, if we do hear a song or whatever, we're like, oh yeah, that's it, like, you, you like the soundtrack. Is where it's at. Like, you might just want to go and try to find the soundtrack, either download it or get it, whatever the case is, and see where it got there. At. And, you know, like I say, we got some good music on there. Um, good music, good dancing, beautiful ladies on there, you know, all of those things, you know, add up to a good show. And, you know, some, some money laundering here, some drug selling there, you know. Alcohol all over the place. Like I say they had some beautiful women over there. <laughs> like I say, that right there itself just draws you right on in. So, well, uh, thank you all for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my description, the links in the description, or whatever. Maybe it's something that you might be interested in. If you're interested in ways of making extra money, that's why. Coach, I do that, and if you're interested in maybe being on the show and collaborating, and you know, we can work that out too. So, just let me know what you want to do, and if you want to participate, and uh, we'll make that happen. And don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe to all of my social media sites like my YouTube, my TikTok. Uh, what's the other one? my Twitch, you know, I got all of that going, so, uh, please, and I will leave you with the peace, love, and happiness, I thank y'all so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to y'all tomorrow, I'll talk to you later. Hello, YouTube world, welcome to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.